Yoko, are you cleaning your panties? Who set all this up? And why did they choose us? There's so many mysteries. Spend some time. Uh, I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? But I have my own way of doing things. I join Kyokyo while we search the school. We're a little closer. We're present. Ash. Ah, uh, let's see. I mean, she liked the uh, the puzzles, I guess. I'll go faster. You <laughs> know, I go faster. It's hard to like scroll down all these items. Hmm. I mean, I guess I might as well just give her it again. Why not? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? I think. Oh, this is a typo. This isn't. This is a Kyoko saying this. That'd be kind of weird if she's the one saying this. But no, I think Nagi is saying this. How do you say? This? How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? Calm. I mean, you never lose your cool, but you never show emotion. You say that like I'm some kind of inhumane beast. No, I, I didn't mean like that. No. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make that sound way easier than it is. Especially in these kind of circumstances. So well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. She keeps saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Is there any way I can say to get a reaction out of her? Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. So. Remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings? But... but that's such a waste! Hmm? Your smile is just so cute! Hiding behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is way better. Why do... You know, you look better when you smile. <laughs> Isn't that like a pickup line? That everybody hates, I feel like? I don't know. It's like a cliche, you know, in Japanese anime, however. And like, I guess any kind of like romance uh, story. What are you talking about? Oh, look at that. Look at that. She's blushing. Nani. Cute. It's much too soon to be bringing up things like that. Ah, looks like I got to show you a hidden. I got to. I got you to show a hidden emotion, didn't I? Eh? What? You, Makoto, you. You deceived me. Huh? Wait. I don't believe this. To use the word cute to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. Sorry, I just got carried away. But still, I did deceive you. But it's not like it was a total lie. You see how easily you find... just so, you, you see how easily you yourself were deceived. I guess it was a double... Double deception. Huh? No. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that, completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy. This, this reminds me of, you know, love is war. You know, Kaguya-sama, love is war. <laughs> that, that's what this reminds me of. What? You mean... Oh, kawaii koto. I thought I tricked you, but I was the one getting tricked. I was the one being tricked. <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto. You're honest to a fault. With that, she was gone. The most formidable opponent in the war that is love. I got neuro liberation. Wow. Got new skill. I can summon a persona now. Let's see. All right, and some more. All right. I mean, again, more and more Kyoko. I don't have a lot of coins, so that I think there's no reason to go to the gacha machine. It would be nice to get better items. Let's see, let's try to find her again. Where would she be? Well, I don't have to guess, I can just look around at this map. Apparently, she's in the main area. Oh, over here. Okay. Didn't see her. Did you need something from me? Spend time with Kyoko. I suppose a change of pace is necessary sometimes. Fine then, why don't we take a break? Let's do that. We did nothing in particular. We just kinda hung out.
Hmm. Well, I don't have any more math problems. Scarab Roach. Oh, today is a dung beetle. Does she like this? Okay. She likes it. She doesn't hate it. Can we finish this already? Huh? Finish? If we truly want to trust each other, we must truly know each other. That's what you believe, isn't it? Oh well, yeah, but... I understand why you feel that way, but... When it comes to me, I think you should probably give up. What? Why? Because I don't have anything to talk to you about. Does that mean you don't trust me? If you, too, if you get too involved with someone, you're apt to lose any sense of good judgment. I learned that lesson myself all too well. Personal experience is a ruthless teacher. Personal experience? Surely by now, you've noticed what I always wear. Someone unique to me. Or something unique to me. What is it that Kyokyo always always wearing? Ribbon? Maybe. I mean, she's not wearing glasses. It's either a ribbon or gloves. I mean... Technically, she did take off her ribbon in the bath scene, but I don't know if that's canon. She does have gloves, though. I remember. I'm guessing gloves? It's those gloves, right? That's right. But why did you bring them up? Does it have something to do with getting involved like you mentioned? Simply put, there was a time when I grew attached to someone and made a bad decision. Now that one, well, I, I don't remember now, but did she take off her gloves during the bath scene? <laughs> you know, I wonder, did she just have them on the entire time? When she takes, when she showers, when she goes to sleep, <laughs> you know, no matter what, she just has gloves on. When do you wash your hands? You know, when, isn't it get kind of stuffy in there, kind of sweaty? Anyway, simply put, there was a time when I grew attached to someone and they made a bad decision. I was forced to learn a very powerful lesson, and these gloves are a daily reminder of that. So on these gloves, I swore to never make the same mistake again. Sorry, but I'm not sure I completely understand. Can you tell me more any more about it? Maybe then I could... I'm sorry, but I can't. That's the end of it. The end. So then I never got to learn anything about her, about how she feels. Anyway, don't get too depressed over all this. The reason I'm not willing to talk about it isn't because I don't trust you. In fact, I do have faith in you. Which is why I decided to tell you what I have. So. I want you to understand why I can't tell you. I can't show you myself, just like I can't show you what's beneath these gloves. I can't remember the last person who saw what was beneath my gloves. That long? Yeah. That's right. And I can't imagine the point where I would show them ever again. Only someone I could call family would be worthy. Family? Yeah. Are you going to volunteer? Alright, let's get married. What? <laughs> huh? Got you again. Hmm. <laughs> you really are foolishly open. You know, that, that's an interesting face that she makes. It's a little, it's very smug, actually. Isn't that, that's kind of, that's kind of a smug face. She did get me again and laugh at me again. But I never really heard her laugh out loud like that. I think that must be her natural laugh. It is, right? That wasn't fake. So maybe in the end, she did show me some part of herself. Maybe she showed me her true feelings. <sighs> I know I always tell you to be careful and protect yourself, but to be honest, I hope you don't change. I prefer you this way. <laughs> this is you. In the end, I never did really figure her out. At least I got a little bit closer. Yeah. Achievement unlock. Hope speak confidential. Maximum skill points has increased. All right, well, that was easy. I already maxed out her social link. I thought it was going to take longer than that, actually. When after we finished up, I went back to my room. Yeah. Hmm. There's something by the door. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me check. So I, I, I guess I maxed her out already? I never expected to max her out that quickly. Okay, there you go. Alright. There's my harem, by the way. Celestia, Kyoko, and Shaika, but she's dead, so... She'll be in my harem, you know, in in my heart. No, um, what's this? This piece of paper it looks like someone must have slipped it under my door. Meet in the dining hall. 
the handwriting is really good. But to want to meet up so suddenly? Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Alright, time to break the curfew again. I'm not supposed to do this. Do it anyway. Oh, Magato. Hero. Then the letter I found in my room? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Well, I always thought that if you had a bad penmanship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? Why did you want to meet with me? Oh, I was just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? I'm just an errand boy on this. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Okay, let's do it. No, I... I was totally lost. Hero grabbed me by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered to my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind would notice. Everyone's waiting in the bathhouse. What? Then did Alter Ego finish your search? Uh, you got it, Hero. Let's go take a dip together. I mean, we already did this twice, Makoto. Why are you so slow? Like, we did this already. We, we did this whole song and dance, you know, of going to the bathhouse to actually meet Alter Ego. But anyway, I was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. As soon as I got to the dressing room, an angry voice echoed out. Hey, you! How long are we gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. <laughs> Shut up! What'd you say? Want me to make you cry, little girl? <laughs> Taka, you seem to be even worse off than I heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow up personality. What? Got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours, you know that? <laughs> How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven sent master. <laughs> hmm. Are you back to your normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up! Anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. You want us all to meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? Yeah, totally. Did he finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The Mastermind's true identity? Like I said, it's almost 10. Hurry up and spill it! I'll talk to you. What do you want? Am I really the one you should be talking to right now? Okay, I guess not. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I never. Oh, I didn't mean to talk to. Oh, I want to click on uh, a Byakuya actually, but eh, whatever. I should probably ask Koki what's going on before anything else. Oh, okay, well, actually, okay, that's fine. I actually do want to talk to this guy. I'm curious as well. So long as it's not boring. Okay. Everyone just has one-liners. It's nearly night time, is it not? If we absolutely must converse, I would at least like to do it quickly. No. It's gone. Gone! I came here a little early to check up on things, and that's when I discovered. Alter Ego, the laptop has disappeared. What? You're kidding, right? Huh? What? She's gone? You can't be fudging serious! What do you do with him? Was it the mastermind? Did they finally notice what we were up to? I told Alter Ego to yell if anyone he didn't recognize appeared. If it was the mastermind, I'm sure he would have alerted us. Maybe we just missed it. I was in the laundry room right next door all day. There's no way I wouldn't have heard it. But if it wasn't the mastermind, then... The solution to this particular mystery is obvious. It could only have been him! Mr. Ishimaru, you stole her, didn't you? What? I'm the ultimate moral compass. I will never do something like that. I don't think it counts when you say it about yourself like that. You're the suspicious one here. You're nothing but a big jiggling sack of fat. <laughs> Shows what you know. This isn't my true form. I still have three more transformation left. I'm like Frieza. Uh, wait, I mean, it wasn't me. Everyone knows you're the thief. Wrong, it's you! 
Well, I'm sure it was one of you, so whoever did it, just hurry up and confess. No, there's no way either one of them did it. Huh? Uh, why not? I told Alter Ego to yell at either Taka or Hifumi came into the dressing room as well. What? It was a countermeasure against the clear danger that one of them might come for it. But I never heard any yell. Exactly. Which means it wasn't them. Then who was it? The fundamental circumstances are becoming clear. If it wasn't the mastermind and it wasn't Taka or Hifumi, then quite simply it was someone else. Makuto Celeste, Sakura, Hinatoko, or myself. One of us must be the thief. Why would any of us want to steal Alter Ego? How about this for a reason? There's a traitor. Among us. God damn it! Not <laughs> that, 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 those two words forever ruined for me. Among us. Among us. Among us! Among us! Huh? Among us? That means someone is us. One of us is working for the mastermind. A spy. And that's the one who stole Alter Ego. Can you deny the possibility? It can't be. I've actually been thinking for some time now there might be a spy among us. The mastermind brought someone in to help to keep things moving smoothly. A spy for the mastermind? A traitor? No, it's impossible. Something that horrible. There's no way. Why do you not speak? Are you struck silent by your inability to comprehend such a possibility? I don't care. I don't care who... Someone, anyone, save her. Please rescue her. I'm begging you. I just want to see her smiling face again. Same here. How many times do I have to kill bro before they're happy? I'll beg, I'll scrape my head across the ground, just give him back! Uh, this is pretty messed up, but still, like, I think I kinda get how they feel, even though they're both delusional. I think Alter Ego is most likely still safe, for the moment at least. And if they wanted to destroy it, they wouldn't have taken it. They would have done it right here. So you're saying whoever did it has something else in mind for him. Something else? That doesn't matter! Nothing else matters! No matter what it takes, I'm gonna get him back! That's my promise as a man! I swear I'll save her! Using the power of love! I don't know. Sometimes he for me does do like a, a different voice. So that's what I imagine he also sounds like. Oh, time to go to sleep, everybody. And that was drama. Let's go go to bed. It's nighttime. It's unfortunate, but we will have to leave the search for tomorrow. For now, everyone gets some sleep. How can you be so casual? You don't have time to wait around. What good are you if you're too tired? You'll be much more effective after a good night's sleep. Who gives a crap about effective? We're talking about our feelings here. Anything we do at night brings a higher chance of the mastermind noticing us. Celeste is right. We should begin our investigation tomorrow morning. What do you think, Makoto? I agree with you. If we run around tonight in a panic, the mastermind is sure to notice and you won't get anything done. Haka, Hifumi, I know how you feel right now, but it's best if, just for tonight, you can try to endure it. <laughs> Okay, then let us part for today. We will begin our search for Alter Ego in the morning. <laughs> and you should think about what I said. Someone may very well be spying for the mastermind. Alter Ego, gone as quickly as he appeared. We finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that. You know, that's kind of weird. You know, again, the weird gender thing. Uh, he for me keeps calling the alter ego a she, and everybody else calls it, calls it a he, you know? Again, it's a computer program, so, you know, like what, how do you even define that, uh, objectively speaking? But I just wonder how it's translated, you know? Because there's no, like, direct way to, like, um, like, like uh, use a pronoun in Japan, or in Japanese, rather. 
I mean, there are other ways, I guess, but I'm like, how would it work? I don't know. I mean, you could call it, like, you could call somebody directly like a man or a woman, but that's kind of weird, you know, you don't usually do that. When you refer to someone, usually you say their name. And usually it's, like, uh, more subtle, you know, ways to, like, uh, define someone's gender, at least through conversation, I guess. You know, like honorifics or whatever it is, but I don't know. Are you, well, usually when, in, in Japanese, anyway, in pronouns, usually uh, you refer to yourself, you know, uh, a certain way. And that usually kind of like, at least in anime anyway, you know, usually um, uh, confirms your a particular gender, you know. Like usually when you when you say like ore, you know ore wa, you just like I ore wa. It's like a kind of a masculine way to say some like refer to yourself. But oh, anyway, we finally discovered some small measure of hope, but even that was taken away from us, and we couldn't even put up a fight. We were given hope, and then when that hope was taken away, despair. It's just like that's the. It's as if that's the main theme of the game. <laughs> just like what the mastermind is doing to us. And could it really be true? Whoever stole Alter Ego, could they really be working for the Mastermind? If that's true... No, it can't be. There's no way. I didn't even realize I yelled that out loud. The scary thing isn't the idea of someone spying on us. What's really scary is the idea that we're starting to doubt each other again. That scares me more than anything. Damn it. I threw myself into bed, trying to shake off all those unsettling thoughts. Before long, I fell into a restless sleep. Murder is a word whose definition changes with time, with place, with society. If murder is evidence of abnormality, then all of history's greatest heroes must have been abnormal. I mean, that's sort of true, I guess. You know, obviously, the most legal type of murder, technically, would be like war, right? When people kill each other, you know, during like wartime. It's, it's technically murder, but... It's like government-sanctioned murder, in a way. Today, we have to look for Alter Ego. Okay, first things first. To the dining hall! I found myself in surprisingly high spirits and hurried to the dining hall. But what I found out was, was waiting there for me. This is it. What happened to the others? Aren't they coming? Well, the cohesion in our group is very low at this point. There were only three people at the dining hall. Sakura, Hina, and Kyoko. So including me. Only four people? God, this is why I hate people who take their sweet time and everything. Anyway, let's wait a little while longer for the others. So we decided to wait in case anyone else showed up. But no matter how long we waited... So it's 8 o'clock. We've been waiting here a full hour. Mm -hmm. Why haven't the others come? Hiro and Celeste have never missed a day till now. And what I'm really worried about is Hifumi and Taka. They were more eager than anyone to look for Alter Ego and they're not here. Masaka. Something must have happened. Huh? I was careless. I was too distracted by Alter Ego. But Monokuma gave us a motive. There's no way something wouldn't happen eventually. Monokuma's motive. A bunch of money. Is that even like real money? You know, you, you look at the actual like like money and it's like it's just Monokuma bucks. <laughs> you know, it's just fake money. It's Monopoly money. Okay. Don't tell me someone did something for money. Crazy! 
That's what I wanted to say, but I didn't bother. I already understood. I understood and I hated that I did. You can never really know another person completely. Even if you max out their social link. Anything can happen here and you can't consider it strange, not really. We need to go look for the people who never showed up. Okay, let's go track them down. Without another word, we left the dining hall. We can cover more ground if we split up. Yes, let's split up, gang. You know? The thing that you should never do, I feel like. But we do anyway. Sakura, you go check the dorms. Make sure to check all of the rooms. Makoto, you check the first floor of the school. Meanwhile, I'll check the second floor. Okay, then I guess I'll check the third floor. Don't take any risks. If anything happens, call for help right away. I really hope nothing happens. So do I. Okay, let's go. Anxiety was running across each of our faces as we went our separate ways. Without hesitating, I rushed to the first floor of the school. Okay, I need to look around the first floor. Look around, look around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Anyone in the classrooms? Even though nobody's ever in the classrooms, nobody's ever in the classrooms. I always check the classrooms, but nobody's ever in. Well, sometimes they're in, I guess. I mean, I guess during free time, but otherwise. It's like, go in, nothing, and then you leave. Oh, well, no one here. Nani? Someone, come here! What? That was Hina! She's supposed to be checking! The third floor! There's no time to think. I was running for the stairs before I knew what was happening. Go, go, go. I flew up the stairs leading to the third floor. As it turns out, I can fly. Wow. No, no. Right away, I saw her standing there in the hallway. Oh, Makoto! Hina, what's wrong? It's... it's awful! The rec room door was open. And when I looked inside, I saw... I saw... What did you see? I better get the others, right? I'm gonna get, go get them. You go on ahead, Makoto. Before I could say anything, she was rushing downstairs. The rec room? What did she see in there? By this point, I was, used, I was used to acting without thinking. So without thinking, I leapt into the rec room. The first thing I saw when I got in the rec room was... Okay. Oh. It was Celeste, and she was hurt. I was expecting a dead body. I look around. Don't have time to think about this. Uh, or maybe... Nope. Don't have time to think about that either. Oh, what's this thing? Saw this. Was this a hammer? What is this? Some kind of wooden hammer or something? Pretty strange design. There's some writing on the head. Justice Hammer 1? That's the hammer he attacked me with. I barely managed to avoid the blow, uh, blow but I stumbled and fell. I now curse my lack of daily exercise. <laughs> so you were attacked with this? Just as hammer one. Now let's get more information. Makoto. Celeste, what happened? I was stupid. I got attacked. Attacked by who? I'm not sure. Some sort of strange man. Strange man? A suspicious person whose existence is so unusual, I can't help but call him strange. Without a doubt, it was some sort of strange, suspicious individual. And that man attacked me with a hammer on the ground there. Makoto Celeste. I don't know who's saying this. Yes. I found Sakura. Okay, I, th I guess it was Asahina. <gasps> Celeste, what on earth happened here? Apparently, she was attacked by some kind of strange man. Mm -hmm. A strange man. Tell us everything you can remember, Celeste. Be as detailed as you can. Well, I woke up this morning a little before 7 a.m. Nighttime was not yet over, but I knew it was about to end, so I decided it'd be okay if I... I decided to take a little stroll around the first floor. I understand now that was a mistake. Anyway, this is where I first saw the strange man. I was immediately wary of him. He was obviously suspicious, so I decided to follow after him in secret. As I followed, I saw him go to the rec room. I tried to peek through the gap in the door, which is when he noticed me and... And that's when you were attacked. It happened after 7am, just after nighttime had ended. 
So if it happened just after 7 o'clock, then that was just about an hour ago, right when we were all meeting in the dining hall. The attack caused me to lose consciousness, which would mean I was unconscious for about an hour. Well, I'm just glad you weren't hurt too badly. That's because I begged and groveled for my life. You did. I told him I would do anything if he spared me. I offered to lick his boots. Whatever it took. <laughs> lick his boots. I can't, I can't imagine that. Usually it's the other way around. So you were willing to throw away all your pride. It is a necessary skill for survival. Anyway, the important thing now is that we go search for the suspicious individual. If we do not hurry, this could become a serious problem. Celeste, what do you mean a serious problem? When I looked in the rack room, I saw that the suspicious man was not alone. He had with him. He for me. He for me? After he attacked me, he dragged he for me away. You mean he for me was kidnapped? Shouldn't we start looking for him then? Uh, listen, Celeste, did anything in particular stand out about this strange guy? Did anything stand out? Well, rather than trying to explain it, it would probably be faster if I simply showed you. Show us. This is Hifumi's hand-me-down, his digital camera. You don't mean. I was able to photograph the suspicious individual without him realizing it. Seriously? Let's see it. I would tell you not to be shocked, but I fear it would do you no good. With that strange comment in mind, we all looked at the camera. Okay. It's a Gundam. It's a human-sized Gundam. <laughs> huh? What? Well, you were definitely right about the strange part. Their face is totally covered. Is that a robot costume? As I said, a very strange and suspicious individual, yes? So this weird robot guy dragged he for me away? And I took this right after being attacked. In other words, a full hour ago. Which is why if we don't hurry, it could become a serious problem. I believe I understand what happened. Well, no, there's much I don't understand, but... The point is, someone dressed like that dragged he for me away. And it happened over an hour ago. This is bad, we have to hurry. Celeste, do you know where this mysterious man went? When they left the rec room, they headed left. If that's true, they were headed toward the stairs leading down to the second floor. Th then he must be down there, right? The second floor. That's where Kyokyo was supposed to be. Huh? Speaking of which, why isn't Kyokyo here? Sorry, I didn't have time to go look for her. This is bad. If the strange man did head into the second floor, Kyokyo might run into him. We have to hurry if Kyoko's in danger. As soon as the words were out of my mouth, we all rushed out of the room and down to the second floor. This is a wild goose chase. Hey, you two. No. Oh, it's Byakuya. Hey, you two. What's going on? What's all the fuss? <laughs> yeah, you guys playing a game or something? Does it freaking look like we're playing a game? Listen, have either of you seen Kyoko or Hifumi? No, no, be sure you have it. Are they on this floor? We just got here ourselves. I heard some kind of uproar, so I came running. We came here together. No, you're just stalking me. Anyway, can you guys help us look for them? Why? What happened? There's no time now. We'll explain later. Well, fine. It sounds like something interesting going on. He for me, kill, kill. If you can hear me, say something. A voice echoed down the hall in vain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did you hear something? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I think it came from the library. The library? Okay, let's go. We ran to the library as fast as our legs would carry us. When we opened the door to the library. Oh. Pink blood. That's not good. It hurts! It hurts! We found Hifumi seriously injured. Are you okay? Are you okay? Basta wolf! I'm, I'm glad to see you. You're, I'm glad to see you're still alive. It's super bad though. Look at all the blood! How did you get hurt? 
That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Uh, well, that's what I decided to call him just now. What are you talking about? Back to you. Wow, fat boy took a serious shellacking. <laughs> Robo Justice. I'm glad to see he's still alive. I'm seriously happy he's still alive, but Robo Justice. This just keeps getting stranger. Now look at this. Oh, another hammer. It's a hammer just like the one Celeste was attacked with in the wreck room, but this one is just his hammer too. And on top of that, this one is actually a little bigger than the first one. He attacked me with that hammer. He bucked me right on the head with it. Set he d set me to horny jail. <laughs> you know the, the hammer that big. I'm surprised you're still okay. I'm not okay. Look at all this blood. Boy. Protein helps heal wounds, you know. Would you like some? I have never heard such a thing. Are you sure it isn't just you? <laughs> Does protein help you? I mean... Um, sort of, you know. It does help rebuild your muscles, but it's not like it does it immediately. But it does give you, you know, energy to heal, but... I don't think it works like, like a healing potion, you know? <sighs> that guy was Robo Justice! This Robo Justice you're referring to is this, is it not? <laughs> okay, I think this is voiced. I remember that? Oh no, no, no. What the hell am I looking at? But this is the one that attacks the less in Hifumi. Isn't that right, Hifumi? <laughs> yeah, that's him, I'm sure of it. Robo Justice! Robo Justice, huh? This just keeps str getting stranger. It's him! Oop, 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 oop. A robot of justice, huh? Now things are really starting to get exciting. What kind of special moves does it have? Can it fly? Can it combine? Why is he here? Let us not concern ourselves with him. What we need to do now is get Hifumi to the nurse's office right away. Whatever else we do, he needs to be treated as soon as possible. Uh. You're right, let's go. Uh. Thanks, everyone. We moved Hifumi to the nurse's office on the first floor so we could take care of his injuries. Uh. How are you feeling, Hifumi? Want me to take a look at you? I'm okay. I think I stopped bleeding. I'm still kind of dizzy, though. Perhaps you should rest here a while. Yeah, good idea. The rest of us should head get back to looking for that mystery assailant. Indeed, before another victim appears. Just as hammers seem to be increasing in size, first one and now two. If there's a Justice Hammer 3, we can only assume it is even bigger than the first two. If you got hit with anything bigger than that, you'd be dead for sure! Tell us what happened to you, Hifumi. Well, I woke up early this morning and started looking for the Alter Ego ahead of everyone else. I went to the third floor and that's where the strange costume man attacked me. That must be what I witnessed around 7 this morning. After that, he dragged me to the library and whack! Down came the hammer! That must have been 30 or 40 minutes ago. Mm. At around 7.30 in other words, we would have still been in the dining hall. Which means Hina, Sakura and I were together and Kyoko was still with us. We have an alibi. <laughs> so we all have alibis, yeah. I was in the laundry room, doing my laundry. Yes. His black underwear is as black as the pitch black darkness is as black as night. Why do you know that? Isn't it obvious because I was peeking. Anyway, so that means Byaki and Toku were together at the time. Meaning, uh, meaning they also have alibis. Then the only ones who don't have alibis are when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked or... The only two we haven't seen yet. Hiro and Taka. That's it, right? By the way, what happened to Kyoko? I haven't seen her anywhere. 
Oh yeah, she was supposed to be checking the second floor, but I didn't see her up there at all. Mm. Where could she have disappeared to? <laughs> She's disappeared, huh? What a strange woman. So she might be exactly as I suspected. Oh, hold on. Kyoko was with us in the dining hall when Celeste and Hifumi were attacked, so... <laughs> I'm not talking about who attacked them. Huh? I'm referring to what we talked about last night. Who the mastermind spy might be. Are you saying Kyoko's working with the mastermind? That's not possible. Isn't it? This woman who seems almost eager to handle dead bodies hasn't even revealed her true identity. Boy. Save this discussion for later. Right now, we need to focus on finding the suspicious individual. Yes. Yeah, if we don't hurry, there's only gonna be more victims. That might be why Kyoko and Taka and Hiro haven't shown up yet. Uh, she's right. We have to do something about that mystery man first. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll catch up with you guys after a rest for a bit. <laughs> Understood. Take care of yourself. Okay, let's go. So whoever that is running around, why are they wearing that weird costume? Huh. Don't bother looking for a reason from a de deviant. So what are we gonna do? Slid up and look around? <laughs> Our opponent is very dangerous. We don't know what they're capable of, even here. What's wrong? I saw a shadow. Something moving around the top of the stairs. Really? Up on the second floor then. You bastard, you won't get away from me. We all shot toward the stairs. Run, 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 run. He must be around here somewhere. Let's split up and corner him. Split up? <laughs> Again? But don't take any chances. As soon as you find him, call out and call, I'll come running. Okay, but what should we yell? Anything, it doesn't matter. Then is ha, okay? Ha. Ha, do ya, do do ya, whatever you want. Just yell loud now so we can hear you. Hmm, do ya. I have never heard such a reaction. Okay, whatever, just hurry up and start looking, okay? Let's go. Hey, Mr. Robot, where you hiding? If you don't come out, we're gonna decommission ya. We spread out in every direction to track down the costume suspect. Hmm. How about I check the pool? Anyone in the pool? Mr. Robot, are you in the pool, maybe? I mean, I doubt it. I don't think it would be that easy, but... I guess I can look. There's never, never anyone in the pool, really. Lockers. Hmm. Just lockers. All right. Nothing here. I did my part. <laughs> you know, I just looked around the pool. That's it. Is a to <laughs> do what you say? Should you say do ya or something? I don't know. I guess that's what she was. She she uh she concluded that's what she needed to scream. That strange cry. It had to be Celeste. It came from the floor above. She's on the third floor. I spread it up to the third floor. Over here, everyone. Everyone who heard the scream had come running. Celeste, what's wrong? That was a rather intense scream for someone like you. I saw him, the strange costume man. He ran off as soon as I screamed. I was blocking the stairs, so he headed further down the hallway and disappeared. He must be down. Oh, he must be down this hall. Come on, let's go. What is it now? At you. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh, it's really true. But that doesn't matter right now. Huh? What was that? That came from downstairs. It must have been... He for me. He's in the nurse's office. Oh, this is bad. Come on, we have to go back. What about the suspect? 
We've gone to all this trouble to capture him, right? Why do we split into two groups? I'll lead the hunting party. That seems much more interesting. Well, well, then Makoto and Hina, you come with me to the nurse's office. I will leave the capture of the suspicious individual Totoko, Sakura, and Bakia. We'll handle it. Just go take care of Hifumi. Okay, you guys be careful. With that, we split into two groups. Last splitting up today. Me, Celeste, and Hina all ran downstairs to the first floor. He's in the nurse's office. Let's go. Ah, run away. Ah. Or not running away. Rather, run towards. We stormed to the nurse's office and what, we greet what greeted us was... A world of a dripping crimson. Uh-oh. I guess he got bunked for real this time. Everything was covered in red, which is not true. For me, it's pink, but... <laughs> in the center of all this red was... He for me. It looks like something very bad has happened. I certainly was not expecting this. I cannot imagine that Hifumi would be murdered. Murdered? You're not serious, are you? He's not really dead, is he? Bum, 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 bum. What the? That was the body discovery announcement. Body discovery announcement? When three or more people discover a body after a murder, that's what plays. And since we just heard it, that means... It must mean he for me. Someone killed him, one of us. One of us? And look at that. When Celeste said that, she pointed to something. Something on the floor. Something that had also been on the floor after the last two surprise attacks. Okay, I'll click on it. Another hammer. Justice Hammer 3. One, two, three. It's even bigger than the other two. Just as I suspected. One strike from that and you are finished. Then the killer. There can be no doubt, the suspicious individual. Going by what Hifumi called him, the culprit must be Robo Justice. Whoever is hiding in that costume is the one that killed Hifumi. But wait, you saw him on the third floor, right? Running back into the hall. So how did he end up in the nurse's office? You're not saying so, you're not saying they like teleported or something, right? We can figure that part out later. Right now, we have to tell the others. You're right. Then shall we go? <laughs> okay, she's shocked. Hina, snap out of it. Huh? Are you okay, Hina? Sorry, I'm not sure I can move right now. I'm feeling kinda... This is a problem. We can't just leave Hina here alone. Okay, then I'll, get, I'll, get, I'll go get everyone. You stay here with Hina. Very well. I leave it to you then. Okay, I'll be back soon. I tried to sound confident and upbeat, but I still hadn't stopped trembling from what I'd just been through. Everyone else is already on the third floor. I have to hurry. But through the power of fast travel, uh, this is where everyone was chasing after the suspicious individual. Where was he headed? This was around right, the tense scream. Doria! <laughs> Uh, further down the hallway, disappeared. He ran off going further down the hallway. Way into the back of the hallway. I mean, I guess this way? Over here, maybe? Uh, maybe not here. Maybe all. Maybe all the way. I'm thinking like at the end of a hallway. What does that mean? Over here or? It looks like some hammers are missing. By the way, very similar to the first case. Hmm. 
Oh, I don't worry about that right now. We don't have to worry about that right now. That's not important. I think I'm, uh... Going the wrong way. Maybe we should go over here, where it's a very gray. Super gray. And go to the... Air filtration room, I guess. Hmm. As far as I can tell, there's nobody here. But still, I feel some kind of presence. Yeah, I'm sure I can feel someone's presence. This presence. Is it coming from over there in the back? Oh, anyone hiding over here again? No? Okay, I'm not. I left through the doorway, and when I did, I found another nightmare. The second nightmare of the day was waiting there to greet me. Ah, another one. Even D like D transformed, you know? That's how you know it's serious. There in the pool of his own blood was Taka. Dead. Double murder. How could this be? Two kills in one? Dangan Rumpa. Well that's Dangan Rumpa for you, I guess. There you go. I guess that's the end of our goofing around. Now we actually have two murders on our hands and trying to figure out who the hell is Robo Justice just going around on a killing spree somehow. <laughs> I guess we'll see.